Welcome! In front of me I have Huawei Watch Fed 3 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and to turn it on press and hold the crown button. Keep holding it until you see the Huawei logo on the screen. Once the logo appears on the screen you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. Once the watch boots up, you should see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list, find the language you would like to use on your watch. And once you find it, you can uh, tap on it to select the language you prefer. And now we need to download and install the Huawei uh, Health application to pair the devices together. So go to your iPhone, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store. In the App Store, tap on the search button or icon then tap on the search bar and type in Huawei Health. Not healthy, but health. Okay. And on the list of apps, you will have two Huawei Health applications, Huawei Health or Huawei Health Europe. Uh, since I am in Europe, I'm gonna use the Europe one, but if you're using the uh, or if you're outside of the European Union, you should try the Huawei Health. They're basically almost identical, but they, they, they work in different regions, I believe. So I'm gonna download the Europe version. Okay, and once the application is done downloading, we can tap on open to open it. Here we can select the uh, service region. Uh, to do it, tap on the option, scroll down. Oh, my bad. Find the region you want to use. And once you find it, tap on it to select it. And then tap on next. Then next, agree. Allow or deny the permission for the notifications. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your iPhone on your watch. If you don't care, you can deny it. And now you should see the health page of the app. Tap on the devices, tap on add device, and you will be asked to log in into Huawei ID account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on register to make a new one. Um, but I already have one, so I'm just gonna enter the email and password. Okay, and after you log in, you can tap on next, agree. Here we have the health uh, permissions. Basically, the app needs some permissions for the health data uh, to work. So if you want allow the permissions, the app won't be able to basically collect the data about your health. So if you don't care, you can deny those permissions. But if you want to use health features, you will need to allow the permissions. So tap on continue. And here we have the list uh, of the permissions the app wants and we have uh, uh, allowed to write and allowed to read and you can customize it to your liking. I'm just gonna tap on turn on all and then tap on allow but you can customize it if you are uh, not interested in some uh, features and stuff like that. Okay and after you log in it will basically bring you back to the health page. Now tap on devices again. Um, as you can see, I already have some devices right here. Uh, let me actually uh, remove them quickly. Uh, if the app pops up with this permission about the Bluetooth, I tap on allow. Okay, this is unpaired. We don't care about the other one. Let me also check something quickly. Okay, everything is fine, so we can continue pairing. So once you log in and you see the devices page, you probably won't have any watches like I had. Um, you can tap on add device. It will start scanning for the nearby devices. It should detect your watch if it's turned on. And once it detects your watch, you can tap on connect. Tap on the check mark to confirm. Tap on pair. Allow or deny the permission for the notifications. 
allow or deny the permission for relocation. This is useful if you want to use some features like local weather, tracking your route on the map and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can deny it. If you want to use those feature, features, rather allow the um, permission. Check the box right here, tap next. You can also allow the uh, app to access your contacts if you want to see who's calling you on your iPhone and stuff like that. If you don't want to, you can tap on don't allow. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna share any contacts, so let me go back. Can we go back? No, we can't. Uh, so I'm just gonna reopen the app, I guess. Uh, not honor. Come on. Okay. No. Oh. I guess I am sharing the contacts. Hey, it won't give up. Uh, so let's select one contact, I guess. Not now. Okay. Um, and once you're done with the permissions, you should see your watch right here at the top. If you wake up the screen uh, on your watch, you will see that you have a tutorial on it. You can go through the tutorial. Your watch will be ready to use. And if you tap on here on your watch, you will see the device page for it. Uh, sometimes it will prompt you about the updates. But uh, in general, if you see your watch and it says connected, it means it's connected with your iPhone. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.